Hi Pisces, welcome to your general love reading for mid-January 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Pisces. And it is general as always, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like, you can get a personal reading with me and you can find all that information in the description box. Keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, let's see, Pisces, what is going on for you? Second half of January, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For your situation, we have the Queen of Wands crossed by the Ace of Cups. All right, well, there's definitely love here. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of desire. Um, so what is the issue? <laughs> Basically, it, I mean, the Ace of Cups is in the challenge position. So I feel like this is really about um, finding self-love in order to actually have that confidence for a particular connection. Okay, so this could be you or it could be the person that you are dealing with. Let's see the recent past. We have the moon. All right, we just had the moon in this exact same position for Scorpio. Okay, so maybe some of you are dealing with the Scorpio, maybe another Pisces. For your energy, we have the three of pentacles and the hermit. All right, interesting because yeah, the Hermit also showed up in Scorpio's reading for the other person. So yeah, definitely could be. So what I'm seeing here is that there is, hmm, there's something that you're working towards or possibly something that you, you would want there to be some kind of a compromise is what I'm getting. But, but it feels like you're keeping to your own self at the moment. It's like there's something that you're really trying to figure out when it comes to your own self. Let's see. For them, we have the Three of Wands and the Hierophant. All right, so lots of, well, some Earth here. Okay, because we do have Virgo and we also have Taurus showing here. I feel like there's a person here that's waiting waiting for a commitment or waiting for something to come through here concerning a commitment with you. So it's either them waiting to take action or waiting for you to take action. Because I do see you in the hermit mode, which is telling me that you're not taking much action even though, even though there is some kind of an effort here. I don't know, we'll see when we clarify. For the near future, we have the 10 of pentacles, all right? So there's <laughs> commitment. Um, and the message for you is the Ace of Swords. Action, take action. All right, let's see. Let's clarify this. It's almost coming in as you wanting to share something with this other person or wanting to work together with this other person, but kind of holding back. Again, um, like deciding to do it on your own instead. I don't know, let's see. And I feel like this person is just kind of like looking at you from a distance here. But it does also come in as the both of you learning a lot of lessons through this, you with the Hermit and them with the Hierophant. All right, so let's see. Let's see the Queen of Wands with the Ace of Cups. All right, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Okay, so... Yeah, it feels like there has been some kind of a pause or there just is a pause or there is some kind of passivity when it comes to give and take like somebody here is just not giving much um, or at least not giving as much as the other person but i also get that this is because there's something that something deeper that is happening here for the person who's not giving there's a healing that is that is going on there is some kind of a healing or some kind of a recovery from something all right because i mean we have the ace of cups love is here again it feels like whatever this this is about it does also involve 
self-love first and foremost before before this person can give equally to the other person because the desire is there there's a lot of passion there's a lot of desire for this connection on both ends but it's that self-love that is lacking on somebody's side here but again it's it's healing it's being worked on and we also have the two of cups all right so again just a lot of there's a lot of love here so let's see this moon for the recent past. All right, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Yeah, so something very, very painful um, in the past. It, it feels very similar to Scorpio. There was something painful either from the past or that might still be lingering a little bit, but whatever that is, it was hidden. It was hidden or it was suppressed or just not expressed to the other person, either from your end or the other person's end. But it does also feel like, you know, this, whatever that is, it's being left in the past, all right? With the Ace of Pentacles, there's this new path that is opening up, moving away from that Three of Swords, and that's even more clear to me here with that Four of Swords in the, in the current situation. Um, but something may have definitely happened here between the two of you also in the, in the recent past that caused a lot of pain and heartbreak. And it feels like whatever, whatever it is that happened, somebody was left in the dark about it. It just felt very mysterious. All right, let's see the three of pentacles for your energy. Okay, six of cups, the ten of pentacles, showing up a second time, and the four of cups. Yeah, see, so be, like I said, it's like there's this... Because there's this lack of give and take or somebody is not giving, I feel like you feel like you want there to be this compromise. You want there to be this collaboration. You want to work together with this person towards something or towards, you know, figuring out whatever it is that is going on. You want this, this partnership. And I feel like, you know, you want there to be some kind of a reconnection here, right? Six of Cups. You're feeling very, very strongly about this person and you're feeling a pull towards them, wanting to work with them for this, for commitment. Plain and simple, Ten of Pentacles. But something here is, I feel like you're not acting on it. Again, Four of Cups. You're not acting on it and, and you don't really like that you're not acting on it, but then for whatever reason you, you're, still not, you're still not doing it. And I'm not saying that you should. I can't tell you whether you should or you shouldn't. You would know. Um, But it is leaving you feeling a little bit sad that you're not. And maybe it's not even up to you, although it does feel like this person would be open to it. Maybe there's something you're afraid of. Oh, let's see the hermit. And again, the rules can be reversed, okay? Keep that in mind. All right, the Five of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're dealing with something here. There's definitely a little bit of, of depression, maybe, or you're... Um, grieving some kind of an ending here, and you feel like you need to do it alone. Whatever that is, and this ending doesn't have to be a relationship. It can be. But it doesn't have to be. It can be something to do with your own self. It could be, again, it's like very similar to Scorpio, actually. Except now, <laughs> the other person's energy is showing up in your energy. So I, I would not be surprised if some of you are dealing with the Scorpio. Or if you have strong Scorpio in your charts. Um, so whatever this ending is, it could be related to this moon. Whatever it is that was hidden here. Or some kind of a... It could even be like a fear. 
but it definitely feels like there is some kind of an ending that feels very difficult for you and you're just you feel like you need to do this alone so it's like on the one hand yeah you know you would want to share with the other person um, that you're dealing with here you would want to somehow work with them on this and move towards a commitment but I feel like the grief is kind of taking over you and you're focused on that you're focused on healing that and what I do get here with that seven of pentacles is that yeah you know you are working on it it is moving forward it's just taking a little bit of time and also because of that this is why you are kind of holding back and keeping to yourself It's almost like you have this Three of Pentacles energy on hold, which would be that working together with the other person, like compromising. Because I, I feel like it's you who feels like you just can't give as much to this connection at the moment. Let's see for them. Let's see the Three of Wands. Ten of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the Moon showing up again. Okay, so here you are in their thoughts and in their energy. And, I mean, Ten of Cups, Nine of Swords. Again, love is showing up all over the place in this reading. There is definitely a lot of love here. Um, but this person is pretty much waiting, right? I, I feel like they're not going to make a move at the moment. Which I can see why, because you're in this hermit mode but they're left feeling a little bit in the dark like not really knowing what is going on here and that is a little bit stressful for them um, but they're still holding on to this love for you they haven't they haven't let go they haven't let go but this the waiting I, I feel like it's killing them actually <laughs> or it's it's stressing them out at least Let's see the Hierophant. The Star, the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. Yeah, they're waiting for this. They, they just want this. Um, they have a wish for that Three of Pentacles, right? Which I feel like, you know, it's kind of there. It is in your energy, so you might have given them like some hints of, okay, you know, like possibly we, there can be some interaction between the two of us, um, but just not 100% because you're still like holding back and keeping to yourself. So they're really wishing for that, for that to happen, for there to be this connection between the two of you, more interaction, and to bring things to like a lighter and happier state. I mean, it just feels like this person is really devoted to you. And it does also feel like they're giving you space and time to work through whatever it is that you're working through. So let's see that Ten of Pentacles in the near future because, I mean, that's, that's commitment. <laughs> And it also showed up in your energy here. So, I mean, I know that you do want this. And look at that, the Hierophant. Again, commitment. Like, it's like all over the place. Love and commitment. Um, together with the Empress. Yeah, this is definitely you healing yourself here. You stepping into that Empress energy. Um, regardless of whether you, you know, this is... It, it doesn't matter the, the gender, okay? Because the Empress is all about can be about healing and finding that sense of stability within one's own self. Having that self-love that I was talking about in the very beginning. Knowing what you deserve, knowing what you want, loving yourself, having healed yourself to the point where you can have this commitment with somebody else and have a very deep spiritual connection as well. So that is coming up. And it's coming up, you know, the more that that you focus on yourself and allow yourself to heal from whatever that Ten of Swords is. Alright, so let's see the Ace of Swords for the message for you.
All right, so clarifying the Ace of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands showing up again, which was the very first card. All right, so beautiful, the Page of Wands and the Fool. This is all about action, things moving, truth, right? <laughs> and here's Mannix to pretty much confirm that everything we're saying is correct. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is you actually stepping into that Queen of Wands energy, right? Um, loving yourself, that going after that desire, taking action towards what it is that you do have passion for and there being this new beginning. Which might feel a little bit scary at first. Yeah, it might feel a little bit unknown to you. But, but that's what this is saying. So it's actually a very beautiful ending. <laughs> Pisces, yeah, definitely you're going through something difficult right now, learning a lot of lessons, and I feel like that was definitely a theme for mid-January. All right, so if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. And we have the waxing croissant moon, have faith in your dreams. Yes, have faith in your dreams. Because apparently they're coming. They're coming through here. All right, Pisces, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.